Welcome to Amateur Redneck Workshop. I'm Harold, and once again, I got too much video for one <laughs> for one video, so I'm making it into two. So this is part two. How about that? I figured that out all by myself. And uh, in part two, we're going to finish making a, a new arbor for my slitting saw, and we'll even put it in the machine and try it out and see if it works. Well, we probably won't cut anything, but but at least if it wobbles, all the, all the stuff I've looked at before, including the arbor that I bought, you know, from from the store, they wobble. It always bothers me. Anyway, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do this uh, finishing up on the splitting saw. The other day I I went to Walmart and something followed me home from there. Something that uh, uses this right here, and. Uh, <laughs> I, you know how it is at Walmart, you've seen those people of Walmart uh, pictures and such, well, anything could happen there, and, and that happened. I, that's what I told the boss lady, the sucker just followed me home. Now, I don't know if I'm going to have a video on it or not, probably not, but nevertheless, it's, uh, it's a pretty neat thing, and uh, I ordered a part for it, you know, a, a scope mount from uh, Amazon. And it said, you know, give me a choice of one day delivery. And I thought, wow, yeah, maybe tomorrow or the next day. That'd be great. So I paid the extra. I get back an email. Well, it's not in stock right now. We'll let you know when it ships. And I thought, well, why would I pay extra for one day delivery a week from now? You know, I mean, if I'm going to wait a week, I can wait two weeks or a week and three days or, you know. So I, I thought about it. I went back and canceled the one day delivery. And then I thought on it some more, and I thought, well, let me look around the world and see if I can't find somebody's actually got stuff in stock. And I looked all over Amazon, and there was one that I thought it said it was in stock. So I ordered again, and once again, I clicked the one-day delivery. And once again, I got a, an email back saying, well, it's, it's not in stock right now. But we'll ship it as soon as it comes in. And so... I sent them a note about it and they, they didn't see anything wrong with what they were doing. It made perfect sense to them that, well, not everything's in stock and, you know, when, it, when we get it, we'll send it out in one day delivery. Well, dang it all, you know, why don't they just say they don't have it in stock in the first place? That'd make me a lot happier. So anyway, I don't get to play with this. Well, it came with a scope on it, but I'm going to put the ATNX site on it and, uh, that requires a, a new rail so I'm not going to play with it until I get the ability to put the ATNX site on it and who knows how long that's going to be. I, I went driving around, I went to Cabela's, I went to Dick's Sporting Goods all kind of places like that. Nobody had a rail so that's why I wound up ordering off of Amazon. Alright well let's, uh, let's get on with the video now that I've ranted and carried on and complained I guess leaving the thing twenty thousandths of the, of the saw sticking up would probably be a good idea even though I know at some point I'm going to have to make little collars to go on here for anything thinner. Uh, well, what I need most of all is just to have a saw that, that doesn't wobble. So, hmm. Anyway, we'll, we're going to cut it like this for a while. And I'm going to try to get down to an inch in diameter here. And then I can think more on how deep that I want to go with it. That may be about right, right there. So, we're going to work on that. be a lot of that I'll work you up when it's over. Okay I left it just a few thousandths proud. It fits on there good and tight. It 
it'll turn if I don't watch it. You know, I have to tighten this down good and tight. But it is a little bit tight there. The good thing is that uh, the slitting saw fits on there. And get it straight but it goes on that's what we want so now I've got to make the part of it that shows up into a 7 8 collet and I think I may work between centers on that I put them in there for a reason I forgot to turn the camera on sorry about that we'll stop walking in a minute okay anyway I'm just sinking this tool bit down and cutting back I need an inch of shank on it. It's nothing more than enough because uh, that's all the room you got in the collar. So I'm gonna keep working this thing in. When I get down to seven eighths, I guess I should stop right now and measure one time. I know I'm not there, but I got it one and a tenth so you got a couple hundred thousand still set that collar on zero it makes some Long chips. Let's make a pretty good cut. Give or take. Now I'm going to get a real micrometer. So you all take a nap. Still got a long ways to go. Okay. I'm within seven thousandths. So we're getting close. All right, time I polish it, uh, you know, thousands of that off, it's going to be just exactly the right size. So I'm going to push it to sleep while I polish. I've done all the polishing that I'm going to do, and I'm right on 875. So I wish this thing wouldn't wobble like that, but it does. All right, now then, time to part it off.
we are. Got a little dingus on it, but I'll get rid of that. In a minute, we'll try it in the collet. Here's the actual collet. And she fits. So, that means that now I want to cut a hex on here and a hex on the nut. So I'm going to have to move over to the mill and jack the head up high enough to get this stuff in there. Alright, so I'm going to try to cut this down to about an inch and an eighth set of flats, which, uh, which should fit my, my adjustable spanner, I think. I'll have to look at it again in a minute to see just what it can take. But, I think that's what I want to do. So come down here. Thirty thousand feet. <coughs> I didn't bring my lubricant over here. I'm going to have to roll it over. So, I'll wake you guys up when I get there. I almost forgot to set a stop there to keep everything in position. That wouldn't have been good. So, take the cut from here. a nice do very job when I get through. <laughs> All right, now I got to roll it over again. Watched a horror movie last night, and uh, every time that uh, one of the good guys had get the advantage and knock the uh, one of the bad guys out. There was three bad guys. And uh, every time one of the good guys would get the advantage and knock them out cold, then they'd turn their back on him and do something. And of course, anybody who's ever watched a horror movie knows that the good guy is going to revive in a few seconds. And every time the, the, the bad guy revived in a few seconds and killed the good guy almost makes you angry that somebody would make a movie that dumb. <clears throat> if you're an axe murderer and some of them old redneck gets you down, he's going to chop your head off before he turns his back on you. And we'll just keep rolling it over like that until it's got a hex all the way around. Well, this piece came out all right. Only objection I have is the large amount of deburring around the edges. It's just fine. It's the nut that didn't come out right. In the first place, I didn't have it tight enough in the collet. And it moved there and gave me a, a bozo. And then when we come around to the back side, the fact that I relieved it back in there that may be a big problem and I may uh, have to remake the nut or else while I was standing there thinking I may just come along and cut the flats so that uh, 
they're just even with that bottom part and we'll put a washer in there let's see if let me go get a cutter and we'll see all right so we got uh, the slitting saw all this this one really is probably more technically a milling cutter you know than a slitting saw but that's what I've been using it for I got another one over there that I can't get off the old arbor that uh, I've been using for a, a slitting saw as well where's my wrench I always come unprepared don't I? let me get my wrench all right I just stuck it in the vise over there and put the thing on but I'm, I'm almost certain this thing's not going to wobble of course the you know to say the proof of the pudding's in the eating so I guess we need to change out the collet there put the slitting saw in it and see if it wobbles all right you guys are just about the exact right height to look this thing right in the eye focus here focus all right look at that I don't see the wobble that I've been seeing in the other stuff now my, my little holder up above looks you can see all the the hex pieces coming around but I think that'll do I'm going to have to do something about that nut probably. Oh well. The reason I left so much meat on it right here is because if you guys have noticed my projects are never actually finished. There's always something else that I've got to do. So I left a little meat there so that I can make changes if I want to. Alright. Well I guess that does it for today. Time to find out if there's a joke. They're getting hard to come by, you know. Well, we all know Bubba comes from a big family, you know, of, of uh, colorful folks. <laughs> anyway, he's got this uh, great uncle, Booger. And, and Uncle Booger, you know, he lives way out in the woods. It's so far out there that they had never even thought about running any, you know, any electricity out there. So he don't have any, you know, no electric lights or running water or nothing like that he just lives in a cabin out, out way out in the woods yes he makes it mostly on hunting and a little farming you know and uh, so Uncle Booger's wife uh, was pregnant there and so he sent for the doctor figuring it's about time the doctor got there and and uh, the doctor says well uh, Uncle Booger says uh, hold, hold up that lantern there so I can see what I'm doing so he does and sure enough here a little bit of you know baby is born and uh, Uncle Booger starts to set the lantern down and the doctor says oh no don't don't set that down yet he said hold it up I think there's another one coming and sure enough in a few minutes there's another one well Uncle Booger you know he's starting to set that lantern down and the doctor said oh no don't don't set that lantern down yet he said I think there's another one coming sure enough in the middle of it there's the third baby born you know Uncle Booger, you know, he's starting to sit down the lantern. The doctor said, no, no, not yet. Not yet, Booger. Hold that lantern up. He said, I think there's another one coming. And, and sure enough, another, you know, fourth baby's born, you know. And Uncle Booger says, hey, uh, uh, doctor, he says, uh, do, do you reckon it's the light that's uh, attracting them? Well, I don't know. Well, that's all, folks. Uh, Y'all try to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber leave a comment if you got something to say and above all remember keep on keeping on bye now